wako kwa nyumba it's all about love it's all about life it's all about ministry mwana timu kubwa si tumebarikiwa si tumebarikiwa ah hey, hey. ere kubwa sana hii hey. Na twende Facebook Live mwana timu kubwa maana yake tunaanza kupeperusha moja kwa moja twende Facebook Live. Uh, confirm na mimi upande wako nieleze tu kwamba sauti iko sawa, picha iko sawa, umeipata vema uh, ili tupate kuendelea. Hii ni siku kubwa sana. Bwana amefanya tufurahie na tushangilie. So please confirm upande wako. Tacheza vibao vyao watakuwa na perform live mwana timu kubwa sio mambo yetu kila Friday sisi tufanya namna gani. So nangoja kusikia upande wako kama sauti iko sawa nisianze Ya, pasipo na we kunijuza bwana timu kubwa acha nione so far so good eh karibuni sana eh najaribu kukupata my brother mtawali eh ni songa karibu eh songa tena karibu ama uweza kuivuta upande wako eh uko sawa niko sawa hiyo hiyo ndio yako uh, mama Helena <laughs> uko sawa hata siji kama unanisikia nasikika leo naongea Kiswahili hivi eh hapo naongea poa kweli ni accent ndio nimebeba yani kama mjaluo lakini kubadilika hapo badilika mjaluo lakini Kiswahili wow lakini umekakaa hapo ni Kenya kiasi eh nimekakaa ndio of course bila shaka by law lazima nikakae pwani wacha nikupo wacha nikupo jumbo wako kabla tatujaanza producer wetu ametaka sana ni kuulize ama ni kuambie Uh, na kaka utaniruhusu ni ujumbe na kitisha tafadhali uh, ni siku kwanza ndugu yangu kwanza yote ile kumbe una macho mazuri eh yeah, kwazika basi wewe ni grow up ni bwana bwana macho kama ya paka na uli deal uli deal vipi na mama kwanza nilikuwa nasema he ako nyatima wange chalo wapaka kuja hapa my good ni macho kama ya paka ah wacha ni grow up basi na kwambia eh kila mtu anayaona project family andiko kwa sababu ya macho akirani Badae badae tu ndio akaniambia madam you have eyes yes. that can buy you yes. <laughs> sasa hiyo ndio ilikuwa unajua pale lazima ukwe inaitwaje um lazima ukwe camera friendly eh. kwa camera friendly basi eh. ah, kazi umeipata eh. ah, but yangu hapo basi amen my brother mtawali ah yes. uh, uliona macho kwanza <laughs> <laughs> Leona kila kitu bwana. <laughs> Kapotwa eh, leo basi eh, mauliza asiki. Eh, <laughs> Oge okay, kamgiri hapa kabisa ba. Eh, so uliona macho kwanza ukavutiwa ukaanza mambo yako? Ni sa, ni story ndefu sana. Tulipata na desta huko nikaenda kusomea muziki. Okay. Sasa pia alikuwa mmoja wa wale walimu pale. All right. 1997 <laughs> jana jana hapa jana hapa jana kitambo kidogo <laughs> eh, so badilikuwa wakati mzuri kwa sababu nafikiri hata kuna mtu alichapisha kitabu kuna picha pale imepigwa tuko pale ndani eh. so, tunani ile mama mzuri dr robert king robert king okay hata kwenye hiyo wakati sasa tulikuja kasomea kozi hapo zilikuwa kozi mbili eh ndo tukapatana na yeye tukafanyafanya eh. collab tukaimba tukaenda kuimba tulimba tulimba na, na mzungu sasa maana helen Huyu? Ah. Ena Helen. Wow. Kitambo kidogo then after that tukatoa tukatoa album nyingine nzuri sana. Actually eh. that, I think that's our favorite. Mm. Haichezi kwenye radio. Mm. Lakini na nyimbo nzuri sana. Mwajisikia nyinyi wenyewe tu mwajisikizia nyumbani. Uh, um, pingine na nyinyi wa radio hamuchezi. Umetupa. <laughs> Lakini nyimbo nzuri sana. I think yeah. you agree. That's inaitwa Bwana Yesu. That was the best album. Na, 1997 tulikurekodia baptist media okay eh, oh gita alipigwa na kigame pala alikuja ah, akajaza gita it's one of the best okay eh, according to me of course according to you of course upanga imependwa zaidi but, eh, but I think music musically speaking eh. album ni uh, helen uh, nilikutazama nili mimi nilikujua zamani oh. uh, ya sing and shine <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sing and shine. Yeah. Joy na nilikuwa eh na Joy Bringers. Nilikuwa nakutazama sana yeah. ukiwa kando uko na shirikiana sana na The Kasangas. Eh, yeah. mm. wakati huo mlikuwa mshapatana? Waki? Okay. Wakati huo mlikuwa mshapatana na Alfred. Eh, yeah, si ndio. Mlikuwa mshapatana wakati tunakutana na huyu na Helen walikuwa tayari washa rekodi. Nilikuwa washa rekodi. Nilikuwa kuna nyimbo zimetoka. I think mm. I think Maisha ya mwanadamu. Eh, ilikuwa ishatoka hiyo. Eh, ilikuwa ishatoka. 
Uh-huh. Na pia Kasanga yeah. mimi nilikuwa anakuja shuleni kwetu. Mm. Okay. Eh, Nafikiri si mtoto sana yule kwa sababu yeah. nikiwa high school yeah. walikuwa anakuja kuimba. Yeah. Na Mrs. Masika. Okay. Eh, Omamake Mrs. Masika. Masika sasa. Sasa yule Mr. Masika kwa mwalimu wangu wa Kiswahili. Eh. eh. Sasa hapo wow. ndio unaona Kasanga. Kasanga lakini alikuwa kama mdogo mdogo hivi. Mm kijana kijana hivyo na vava suti eh kwa mgwana kweli anaonyesha eh mgwana wa sasa uko naimba na huyu Ehe. lakini sana sana nilipokuja kozi ya muziki mbili okay. by cultural music mm. na christian Ehe. music Ehe. minister yeye nakumbuka hizo nakumbuka vizuri sana muna picha uh, album ya kuonyesha mlikotoka safari ilikuaje yeah. hatujaleta lakini zipo 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 Maket tungependa sana at least yeah, tuki, tuki ugea, hivi tuna e, le, leo nema ki chakula chakula hapa mpata picha za kitambo eh tukua lounge fulani huko ya album wow nema iko ndogo sana so wakati huo uh, pengine kaka Alfred uki ukimtazama na tayari ame ile na mshika mziki hivi maono yako naye hususan kimziki si hata mambo na Uh, ndoa mapenzi maisha uh, maono yako kwake ilikuwa yapi yani mimi naweza sema kwanza ni ni nisinge kuja kusomea hiyo course nisinge muona kweli na tusinge record wow unaona kwa hivyo mm. nafikiri katika mji wa Kilifi mm. na Siringingi wewe mimi ndio mtu wa kwanza ndio <laughs> <laughs> mtu wa kwanza kurekodi pale Kigil, eh. na kuandaa concert oh eh ile naitwa music extravaganza miaka hiyo yes e, sasa mimi ndio tuliturekodi mara ya kwanza na kuandaa tamasha Naam. kubwa naam hata tuliandaa tamasha kubwa sana na ilikuwa kama kitu cha kwanza kilifi ndio kinaanza kuonekana mm. so isinge kuwa yeye ya injili hiyo ni injili ama ya kitamaduni ya injili mm. zile oh. concert ya muziki ya live kabisa kila kitu okay na mimi nilikuwa naogopa Mombasa yeye ndio alifanya nikaenda Mombasa pale eh Eh. Okay, Mombasa ilikuwa kuingia rahisi kuondoka. Oh, so ulikuwa naogopa uki Ulikuwa Ukikaa sana huko utako. Lakini alitengeza kila kitu tukawa tuna ya kwenda kuishi Afrika mm. Afrizo. Eh. Afrizo ilikuwa mara yetu ya kwanza pia kufika Mombasa. Okay. So Ma, u, ukisema Afrizo kwa mara kwanza kwani Afrizo ilianza lini? Afrizo ilianza 98. Oh si ni si juzi. Mbona nafikiri ni matuta? Ifa kile alifanya yeye ndio alifanya tukaunganika. Tulikuwa tunajiita Vush mahali huyu alikuwa na tu to host nilikuwa na rafiki yangu yeah. anaitwa John Omani yeah. ambaye sasa alikuwa pia ni mkubwa wangu kikazi hapo Kilifi uh-huh. sasa alikuwa na nyumba kubwa okay. sasa alikuwa akija wanaenda huko kwake yeah. wakati huo bado hamjawana ha, 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 bado bado tunachumbiana tu mapenzi mapenzi so muziki ilikuwa inaongeza ladha katika tukapiga katika... muziki hata tukapiga muziki tukua yeah. tukirekoda tukua tumaoana uh-huh. Na mimi nilileta sister zangu wote na mabrother zangu wote walimba. Wale walikuwa backup kwa hiyo walimba. Do muziki fika nyo. Sasa hiyo ndio sijajua kama ananiangalia vingine. Hiyo ndio mimi nilikuwa najua ni job. Tuende tukao kule do ya mtu. Mungu ni mengi. Wakati walikuwa poa kimchuzi watu wa struggle kimziki huo ulikuwa ushakolea yani. Ah ah nilikuwa nilikuwa sina hela. Eh nilikuwa nilikuwa hasla if I na kama naweza kuna. Yes. Eh ni msakatonge. Eh leo umetumia jina hasla. Kwa mtandao haukaribiani na hiyo jina kabisa. Lakini miaka hiyo ilikuwa hasla si kwa na kitu. Mshahara pia kazini ulikuwa mdogo. Eh lakini sasa pia eh lakini pia tulichangachanga tukaweza kurekodi. Wakati huo ulikuwa kurekodi ni kibarua kigumu sana. Alright. Na fikiri kama sija kosea nilikopa pesa. Wow. Eh kazini. Na nile uneka instrument moja moja. Ah, Mko mare kodi vipi wakati wakatu ule? ule ah, wakati ule kulikuwa na Prince Ngoso alipiga keyboard eh Makeremo alipiga keyboard. Sasa unakumbuka watu wote? Nakumbuka vizuri. Then tulipotoka Ruben Kigame akaja kuweka gita tu atoshaondoka. Okay. Akafanya mixing. Na akafanya mixing. Na Lilian ndiye alikuwa anafanya record. Hebu leo mtu msaidie pia kuelewa wakati zile ambapo mko mnafanya kina Sing and Shy na na Joy Bringers yo recording aboy kwa nafanyika pale na mkipeperusha ilikuwa ni live ama mko mna mna wote unaona hata kuna siku moja karanja ah. kimwere aliamwa guitarist wote wacheze na left 
wakacheza wote hey, left kama ilikuwa live ilikuwa ni real real ni kuma ni inachezwa kwa sababu kama ni live jamani sasa ni hao watu wote wanachezea kila mtu vile ndio nashika kwa ni kwa anajiuliza kwa ni mli practice ha ilikuwa wanaweka wimbo alafu wale wapikina chisukane na njonde na wengine wanapiga magita na kila kitu na marehem John Mika na wengine sasa mnaimba pale Hey. Na ilikuwa show, ilikuwa mtu akikuona huko umeonekana kanya nzima. Eh, hey, ilikuwa hey. kubwa bana. Ah, yeah. hizo mm. enzi zingerudi lakini mm. kinachoenda kimeenda. Ah, uh, Helen, Yo. wewe kuanza kujisimamia kivi yako na kutoka kwa ya uh, kwa eh hey. baada ya miaka 15, nimba nao miaka 15. Ni nini kilikuweka pale huo muda wote kwamba ukawa comfortable kama alikuwa kama baba na wewe ukienda mahali unapatiwa marupurupu bwana sio mm. kama kazi sio lazima ningeitunza tu alafu yeye pia alikuwa ananichukua kama mtoto wake kuna wakati tunaenda shopping basi tunatumia manguo manguo wewe wow. unangara nangarishwa kwa hivyo huyo baba alinitunza sana mlipata naje na kila kasi except watu walikuwa nafikiri mimi ni mbochi nilikuwa nilikuwa niji hapo mtu angelifikiria huyo Mlipata yeah. naje na kila kitu. Alikuwa dexter, alikuwa na alikuwa anafanya kazi dexter. So siku moja kanisikia nikiimba chapo na akasema wewe wewe hiyo alto yako lazima. Yeah. Na hivyo tu. Sasa nikaanza kuimba na mke wake, aka nikawa naona saa zingine tunaenda Mwanzo Mwanza town kwa ya tunafundisha, mm. tunasikia vile wanaimba, akaanza kuni expose. Tunaitwa kwa president tunaenda tunakula maruburu. Is the first time nilima na kina kasanga nikapatiwa 10k hivi na prezo. Wow. Eh nilifurahi yani. 10k that time ilikuwa ni pesa moja. Hey. Ni so ni kama walikumenta. Walinimenta sana sana sana. Hata kufanya kujua live music nilijua nao. Maana yake mimi ni wa Anglican, wa eh, CK wa ile hallelujah. Hey. Yeah. So, so singejua. Toko totoni ulikuwa waimba nyumbani, familia ni ya kimziki ama kwetu nyumbani tulikuwa na kwaya ya nyumbani yani mgeni akikuja ama tuseme hata kama neighbor amekuja kwetu tutamwimbia oh tutamwimbia sasa kulikuwa tumeshazo chazo ya kuimba lakini sawa walinisaidia kujua kuimba na magita na manini sana hiyo unaye pia akikuja akija na magita na nilikuwa simi na gitani nilikuwa naimba oh kurisku hiyo ndio wimbo alafu hallelujah 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 Oh, ulikuwa na hizo sana. Mimi hizo ndio nilikuwa nazo. Sasa nikikuta na Kasanga alafu nikaja nikakuta na huyu. All right, ndio ndio hizo. Sasa change sasa nikawa vocal coach. Yes. Oh, okay, ukaja kwa tutafika hapo. Kaka wakati huo ulikuwa somea muziki. Mimi chuoni. Ah, chuoni sikusomea. Nilisomea muziki shule ya upili. Okay. Nairobi school. Okay. Uh, nilifundishwa na Mrs. Zamunga. May God rest her. Oh. So, yes. Huyo alikuwa mwalimu mzuri sana wa muziki. I think in the country kwa sababu sisi wote aliotufundisha mm. tunapiga muziki. Mm. Okay. Wale wote walisoma wakati huo walitoka Nairobi School mm. wanapiga muziki. Na Nairobi School imetoa na muziki wengi sana. Mm. Kina Tim Auri Mbui, Chris Adwar, mm. wata, Moses Watatwa. Mm. Watatwa kwa list is endless. Mm. Wale wote wa ni product sasa project kulikuwa na band na kila e. kitu. E. So alikuwa anasomea muziki na anacheza kwa school band. Na okay. So, Yeah. Japo enzi hizo uh, nyimbo za injili zilionekana kidogo zikiwa uh, kidogo kama hafifu ikilinganishwa na nyimbo za kidunia umaarufu ulivyokuwa unatembea nyimbo za kidunia zilikuwa zinasikizwa zinachezwa yani ukienda katika uh, uh, faili ya uh, TBT uh. za nyimbo za kilimwengu ziko kibao Kanisani, eh, wakati chachi. huo amani wakati huo ndio kulikuwa na kama revolution ya muziki. Mm. Eh, kwa sababu kulikuja kutoka bendi mbili. Mbili ya kama tatu Mombasa kulikuwa na soul winners mm. ya Bishop Ndumbu. Mm. Nairobi kulikuwa na Revival Flames ya kina Gustas Baraza. Then kulikuwa na Hallelujah Band mm. ya kina Bwami wa Lumona. Walikuwa wameokoka kutoka Mangele pa kutoka Vilabuni. Oh. Waliunda bendi kubwa hiyo ndio ilicheza wakati Bonke anaingia Kenya kwa mara ya kwanza pale Uhuru Park. Okay. Sasa hapo ndio alafu kulikuwa na kundi linaloitwa Maranatha Singers. Maranatha. Alafu Youth for Christ. Mm. Sasa hapo ndio contemporary ilianza kuingia. Okay. Ma, wanakuja na magita na drums sasa sisi tunaona eh hey, hey, magita sasa. Unaona? Mm. So hapo ndio nafikiri ni kama kulikuwa na mwamko mpya. Na magita alipigwa ingawa sasa watu walikuwa wakisikiza haleluya bando sasa ile hata na kama disco. 
Eh. Sasa kulikuwa napiga vile walikuwa wakipiga na kina Gustavo yeah. Baraza kwa no. saxophone. Naam. No. No. Na enzi hizo walikuwa wanaenda kwa nikaenda Shan Cinema hapo kanisa liko pale ya Bishop Murima na Mzomba. Yeah. Unaingia hivi muziki unapigwa my friend. Naingia baada ya kwanza natoka na zura zura hapo nje unakunywa maji unarudi. Unatendi mm. baada zote mm. sababu ya muziki. So I think that time doku wa muziki wa kidunia waliokoka. Okay. E, wakatoka wakaingia sasa. Sasa huko kuna kina Kasanga tayari kuna Augustus Baraza wametoka kwa club kina Bwamu Alumona wametoka kwa club. Sasa kuna Hallelujah Band, kuna Revival Flames, yeah. kuna jamani anaitwa Petit. Kuna mtu anaitwa yeah, yeah, saxophone yeah. na Fariki pia. Oh. Lakini sasa wakati huo sasa ndio muziki wa magita magita unaingia kanisa. Na makanisa yalipinga sana. Yalipinga ya comfortable sana. Kuna siku, kuna siku mamangu alisikia nikisikiza kwa kaseti. Usini pite mokozi leo unisikie Shwaibu. Eh Shwaibu wale munduli ni anzizo. Oh my god dress. <laughs> mamangu akasema ngoa kon. Eh. Unasikiza msiki wa namna gani hii huyo? Ikasema eh. <laughs> <laughs> mamsi pia ni gospel akasema gospel manade. Tunasikia magita magita huko. Unasikia eh. hey dududu gudu hiyo si nafanya fanya mtu aanze ku dance dombolo ya Yesu hey. nilisema eh hey, ndio hiyo sasa huyo ndio sasa muziki wote hey, sasa mimi kwa tukute ndereza Yesu hiyo yeah. Akot... ni dhambi so mimi nilijua ni dhambi wacha ilifika kwa ushirika ilifika eh. kwa ushirika tina imbanga wimbo kama hizo zile watu usidi pite mokozi yes. leo mpaka tunapa chorus ni same wewe amtawali ndio anapiga gitaa akasema sasa huyu ameokoka ama hajaokoka kanisa ilikuwa inasema nini wakati huo sisi anglican anglican yetu ulikuwa uchezi vitu kama hizo ulikuwa ukisema unaulizwa mimi hata kwanza niliulizwa dada unapenda wimbo kushinda Yesu <laughs> wow ah kidogo kidogo watu wakaanza kuleta keyboard yeah. keyboard ikakubalika for a while drum set ikakubalika ah before you know it solo gitaa hey, gitaa gita, gita. yeah. yeah. Na bado Mungu anatukuka. Ndio. Alright. Sana. Wote wote kwako mtawali. Ah, uh, this is about love, life na ministry. So, enzi zile ni enzi zile zile ambapo pia kina Mary wa Mboyo alikuwa. Ah, Esther Home alikuwa wakati huo. Alikuwa hapo lakini Mary Mary Ominde, Mary Atieno. Eh, Mary Atieno alikuwa. Esther huyo wa Mary wa Mboyo, Shari Martin. Shari Martin alikuwa. Eh, lakini pia Shari Martin alikuwa kama wa juice juice kidogo. Lakini miaka hiyo sasa hata recording haiko inafanywa sana. Alikuwa wa maitu hapo Town River Road. Yeah. Sasa anaanza ku record record yeah. nyingi. Yeah. Na 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 kasanga. <laughs> Historia nzuri sana. Na kumbuka hivi vitu vyote. Najua majina, najua places, najua. Ah, sasa pingine hapa. Helen hata yeye pingine kuna habari, lakini ningependa ndugu yangu atuulize. Ah, mbali na talenta ya Helen Kimziki. Ah, ndiposa wa moyo ndiye. Ah. Uliangalia vigezo vipi pingine? Nadhani wanasema mapenzi hayana macho. Eh una unapenda unapenda <laughs> unampenda unampenda of course kingereza ni love is blind eh. Eh, lakini unampenda mtu eh. Eh, kama yeye ni mrembo eh. then muziki okay nafikiri muziki ulituleta pamoja kwa sababu yeah. singe singe kutana na yeye kama singe kuja desta kusomea muziki na kumpata akiwa anafanya muziki naam so nafikiri kama angekuwa kama mwal, eh, mwalimu ama daktari pengine tusinge kutana oh, mimi yeah. hivyo So mziki ilichangia. Mziki ulichangia kwa sababu na mimi wakati huo nimetoka shule ya upili na tafuta direction ya maisha lakini nilitaka sana ku, kufanya mziki. Ndoto yangu ilikuwa kufanya mziki niingie jeshi, nipige kama vile tulipiga school band shule. Kina Maroon Commandos. Ah wacha ile brass. Brass. Nilikuwa oh. napiga brass, nilikuwa napiga. Nilikuwa anacheza tu. Beze. So nilitaka tu niingie eh, ni, nipige huko alafu niendelee hivyo lakini Mungu naye hakupenda apply apply lakini cause za desta mbili yeah. tulifanya tukakutana na huyu. Wow. Then after that tulifanya projects nyingi kimuziki. So muli interact na tuliimba sana. Sasa hivi pengine tumezeeka I don't know. Lakini Bado. tulichafua. Yeah. Tuli, eh pengine pia but seasons change. Wewe uliona crusade lini kitambo? Hey, in zamani sana. But those days crusade Mombasa kwa mwiru uhuru pale hey, zilikuwa tena Sijiwa sana wapi, hey, tunaenda bila bahasha acha ndudi kwa helena mm. uh, alikuja namna gani ukajua kwamba hili ni mimi nilikuwa tafuta mtu anafanya fadhi 
Ukoje mtu mtafanana na babako? Mtafanana na babangu, babangu ni mpole. Ah, kumbe. Okay. So ata, nilipata kama tayari nilikuwa nimesha break your heart na jamaa fulani hapo watu kutende reza. Eh. Na huyo ndio watu watu kutewa litaka. Eh. Tuoane lakini kuna vile alicheza okay. game rafia. Sasa kukaka kidogo huyu jamaa na huyu wa pen pals. Yeye alikuwa ananiandikia na mimi ataandika mimi zikuje. Yaani alikuwa anaandika kila siku kila siku kila siku. Aandika barua hata post na na mobile siku na mobile. Lakini kuna simu. Sasa mimi mjaluo nasema andika mimi nitasoma yeah. utangoja simu yangu at the end of the week nitakupigia tu simu mara moja tu hawas ongee nini 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 nini. Hivyo lakini sasa hiyo wetu ilikuwa hiyo story ati oh vile sikuizi watu wanafananga we. Yeah. Eh hiyo la you have to So uli, uli ngoja mtu uli uliombea au ulitafuta mtu ambaye yafanana na babako. Of course utaombea mamangu aliona yeah. manake kwani kwetu mamangu anapenda maombi sana. Mm. Aliombea ma, kitu moja aliomba nisipate mtu wa kunidhulumu. Oh. na kuonitesa because anajua mimi ni mtu wa kuenda enda okay. hata kwa kijaluo ninaitwa Otiende Otiende ni yule mtu wa type akaipa atulie type place moja tuli eh hey, two, two months baada kuzama mtoto nilikuwa nje na enda enda na enda na enda mtoto alikunywa maji wewe lakini mtoto alikuwa anaishi Mombasa siku alikuwa anaishi yeah. Kilifi yeah. alafu baadaye akaja huko Aha. so so wakati huo mimi nilikuwa hata baada ya tukutea mimi hata nilikuwa naogopa sana hata kuolewa Niko na sema nitaolewa sitaolewa. Huyu jamaa alikuja toka sema I don't want a girlfriend, I want a wife. Story baba mistari 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 baba. Ya ni got straight to the point. Oh, Excuse yeah. me. I don't want a girlfriend, yeah. I want a wife. Yes. Kasema sasa natafuta nini? Kambe madhangu kuna mtu anataka wife hapa niaje. Madhangu kasema basi muite kuje huko na alikuja na story. Mara moja story picha atikuja mara moja, mara mbili, mara tatu. No. So I'm good at si tulidete kwa tulidete kwa barua kwa muda lakini sasa kwa siri nafikiri over here yeah over here and okay uh, okay then lakini sasa, ni baada wewe kusema tu mi i want a wife eh uh, lakini tulikuwa tunaongea pia sana oh. tunapigana simu eh. tunaongea nini na nini naona then tukaamua tuwe serious Aha. Sasa ndio. Wewe uliamua tu serious. Wanaume wanajua sasa hao ndio wanamuanga. Alienda ushago eh, negotiate nini ama ilikuwa hapa Nairobi. Ah kila kitu kilifanya kilifa, kilifa, Nairobi. Of course nishaenda ushago. Yeah. Najua na kujua vizuri. Yeah. Lakini ilikuwa hapa. Na, na kwa utamaduni wa Anglican that's another blessing. Okay. Eh, wa Anglican wana, wana ushirika unaitwa tukutendereza. Tukutendereza msichana. Mm hajadiliwi mahari. Mm. Oh, hata leo labda wale walibadilika jana. Wow. Kwa hivyo mimi nilienda na mahari ile nilikuwa nayo. Yes. Na sitasema lakini nilienda nayo. <laughs> Maana na, na baba na, na mama walisema mm. ile zawadi umeleta ni hiyo. Na na I wish wazazi pia wangefanya kitu kama hicho leo. Uko 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 na daughter Neema. Yes. Yeah. That is what you intend to do. M- mimi sita it, nitafanya kama walivyofanya hao wakwe zangu. Wow. Na kile wataleta tutachukua. Of course kama mwanaume pia unajiweza utaenda kitupu kweli. Always end. Yes, yeah. unataka kugarimika kidogo. Yeah. Tuone value. Au umeanza kujitetea mapema just in case. <laughs> 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 Lakini sidhani hati kama itakuwa ati na hesabu mbuzi. Unaona vile watu wana hesabu mbuzi yeah. mpaka nakuja kama laki kadhaa alafu mfulana yeah. anashindwa anaenda huko anachusumbuka. Unaona? Tafuta mikopo. Eh, mimi siamini hivyo. Naamini pia kwamba yule mvulana kileta kila ameleta tupoke. Mm. Mm. Eh, vile nilivyofanywa mimi. Wow. Eh, walipokea kile nilichoenda nacho. Wow. Which I think I think Ukristo nafaa kwa kitu kama hicho. Yes. Kwa sababu kule nje vijana wanasumbuka sana. Na pale vile mmesema kwamba pia mziki liwaleta pamoja. Eh, katika maisha ya sasa kwa mfano mko na binti Neema mnaweza mm-hmm. kumshauri achukue mziki kulingana vile maisha iko na mziki ilivyo nchini tuna, tunajaribu tunajaribu kutokuwa wale wazazi wa zamani wa mimi ni loya utakuwa loya mm-hmm. wewe nini lakini mwenyewe anapenda muziki kwanza alichukia sana, sana kwa ajili yangu alikuwa anaona mimi na criticize eh. na critic watu sana sawako alikuwa haimbi mbele yangu Hey. Kwa wengine ataimba tu lakini mbele yangu hataimba. Sasa saa hii, saa hii mimi ndio namsaidia hata. Wow. Eh, sasa Anataka kujifunza base, mmenunua base hey. liko ndani ya nyumba. Sasa tunataka tuna, tuna create environment. Kama unaona vile okay. familia kule uh, west. Na. Kuna kwa ndani ya nyumba kuna kinanda, kuna kila kitu. Hey. Na nilifanya hivyo kwa ndugu yangu mmoja hmm. saa hizi anacheza na polisi. Anaingia polisi. Wow. Na kwa sababu alikuta mazingira hey. tumeyatengeneza. 
Sasa okay. sasa binti yetu naye akitaka kuna magita mengi tu ndani ya nyumba. Mm. Alisema dadi nataka bass haya. Na anahudumu kwenye worship team sasa. Mm. Oh. Mm. Lakini tunataka hatutaki kuwa wazazi wa zamani kwamba nilikuwa mwalimu lazima uwe mwalimu. No. Nilikuwa hivi mtu wa Ah. Kama mimi ni mwimbaji mmesikia najua hata anaweza fundisha. Anaweza fundisha lakini hatumlazimishi. Kwanza wewe uwezi kulazimisha hako mbesi. Use me please that was your time. Let me choose. Let me do me. Wewe ame ame amechukua personality yako sana. Wewe ndo kwamba daddy that was you. Let me check whether I fit in. If I don't fit kudos. I'm out of here. Tuna tuna tuna. Yeye amechukua baada yako. Yeye si babake. Yeye ni mpole. Yeye si babake kabisa. Utaturusu twende tupate kipenga kidogo. Mwanati mkubwa ukitazama video ninaenda ku mute sauti haimaanishi kwamba tumetoka nataka tuku mute sauti uh, tutapata kipenga tukirudi tuta unmute so usio na wasiwasi kabisa uh, tuko pamoja sio mm-hmm. eh, turusu kidogo mwana kipenga tujuze mawili matatu uh, tukirudi tujue yana eh, yana yana ujiri ni yapi ni ruhusu tu kidogo ni vuka upande wa pili wa studio tunabarikiwa sana tuko na Alfred Mtawali tuko na Helen Mtawali ilo jina lingine amesema ni o oh, utiende il... mimi Helen Olivia Kothumulu nyar nyar I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry, I'm sorry Helen <laughs> oh my goodness okay sasa imetimia saa
Nam 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 barabara kabisa. Twende turudi 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 kwenye Facebook Live manake sikumbuki mwisho e, nimeona the mtawalis wakiimba pamoja. Ah ile zako ni muda mrefu. Ah lakini tunaenda kufanya live pamoja na wao. So kamera inaenda kwao. Sikiza usipito bwana usingoje kuambiwa bwana show ilikuwa hivi na hivi na hivi. Ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for the mtawalis. Yeah. All right. Si ende dambi msena dambi kaifa pure kaifa pure dambi kaifa Wow, 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 wow,
<laughs> my, 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 hallelujah, oh my goodness, oh, the baby vibe are such a sign of my goodness, oh, oh. wow. 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 Iko na touch ya kisauzia. Kwa wimbo ndio, kwa wimbo nafikiri pia ulitufanyia miujiza because tuliyoimba na yeye Daystar wakati nimeenda kufanya hiyo course. Oh. Na 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 wale wanafunzi wengine. Yes. So yeah. na historia pia. Unasema wow. tu kwa kigiriama dhambi haifai. Eh. Na katachika. Katachika kule Saudi. Saudi. Ah sala inapendeza inapendeza acha ni set yangu tena vizuri kwa nime set kwa ajili ya huo wimbo inapendeza tena sana wow turudi kidogo ningependa kujua uh, Mungu kuwa nanyi katika hiyo safari how has it been so far miaka ngapi sasa 98 24 Twenty-four years mm-hmm. uh, 24 safari imekuwaaje yani Imekuwa nzuri changamoto zipo lakini unajua uh, ukishaamua wewe amani umeshaoa ukiamua kuanzisha familia mm. usianzishe familia kwa lengo la kutoka Una, mm. unaanzisha familia kwa kuijenga tuendelee mbele so mm. kama hata niangalie changamoto utoroke sasa utaoa wangapi <laughs> ama ataolewa na wangapi maana kuna mtu anakuja perfect ah kuna yeah. sasa unapata changamoto tunasuluhisha tunasonga mbele mm. na maisha yanaendelea kwa hivyo hiyo miaka hiyo mimi kusema mimi binafsi nashukuru Mungu sana mm. kwa sababu ni, ni kwa kupitia kumoa huyu mm. ndio mambo yangu yalifunguka Oh my Mimi si maskini sasa. Amen. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. So, so kuanzisha biashara finds a wife. Kuja Nairobi, eh, mimi singekuja Nairobi ningekuwa nimeoa kule kwetu ningebaki kilifi kwa okay. sababu lile shirika likuwa nikifanya kazi likuwa na ofisi kilifi. Kwa hivyo sababu ya mimi kuja kufanyia kazi ofisi ya Nairobi ni kwa sababu nilimoa huyu. My. Eh, sasa hapo ndio sasa mambo yanaanza kufunguka na nini? Una, unajua hili ni jiji kubwa macho yanafunguka. Yes. E, unakuwa una mrefu zaidi na nini nikasoma ni pia nimesoma vizuri saa hizi mm. sidhani kama ningesoma kama ningekuwa kule kwetu mm. ungeridhika so, maana kule 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 ukipiga mbazi zako na mahamri eh. sasa <laughs> <laughs> no, hakuna 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 spirit of competition yes. na ile kwamba you are aiming high yes. that's like me watu wanaridhika na vichache vidogo wanaridhika na vitu vidogo ukishakuwa na radio yako pale unacheza muziki kwanza siku hizi uko na tukutukia kwa biashara pale basi wewe una, unatosheka lakini tangu ni, ni hamia Nairobi mm. eh, macho yalifunguka mm. nikapenda ni elimu na nikasoma no. wow. nikasoma ni ndugu zangu wengine wakaanza kupata kuhamasishwa sasa nao wanasoma naanza kuleta degree nyumbani okay. wewe ndio mtu wa kwanza kupeleka degree kwa nyumba ya babangu nalitoa Nairobi amen eh, so So siwezi nikiangalia faida si, zake ni nyingi mno. Mm. Oh, As, ni nyingi mno. Sasa siwezi unajua hata katika Biblia unashukuru unaona you you look at the good side of things mm. na ushukuru Mungu. Mm. Kwa sababu kwa kweli ningebakia kilifi pengine hata singekujua na wewe pia. Hata ungelijuana. Eh, no, wow. pengine kusikiza tu radio show hey. zako. So kuna kuwa na hiyo safari imekuwa ndefu nzuri tulipata mtoto after four years okay eh na tukashukuru haikuwa tatizo sana Naam. eh na sasa binti yetu ni mkubwa is it by design kwamba yeah, muliamua mule, muwe na ni mtoto mmoja ah mapenzi ya Mungu tuseme tu. okay eh. okay Unajua watoto wanatoka kwa Mungu e, sasa una, wengine wajua hutaka tu wanasema wacha eh, wacha wacha mimi ni wacha, <laughs> eh, wacha, mi, niridhike na huyu mmoja ah ah pia mimi niliogopa yao uliogopa watoto wengi huyo wa kwanza huyo eh yeye alinipatia shida karibu nife nikasi atalafu mimi nashipata shida kuzaa alafu anazaa kwa mlango yangu na mwingine hapo karibu na mimi anasema nimeamua sitarudi ate eh hata wanidanganye ulikuwa traumatized ama experience ya huyu ilikuwa traumatized eh hapo ile nicho alafu sasa hawa pia ni watoto walizaliwa wengi so nikasema ai when competition wacha wanaozaa wazai 
Okay. Wacha si tu enjoy company yetu okay. wetu huyu na tunamuita neno. Na, 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 na muli mulikubaliana. Ndio. Ah uh, Michael unajua sometimes mzee anataka wengi lakini mama nilipatia pressure mama ndio kusema mama ndio kuamua yani. Hako nipatia pressure. Yeah. Alafu sisi wote pia tulikuwa watu busy. Tuko busy nilitesa huyu wa kwanza na unakuwa busy. Mm. Imagine nilimzaa after two weeks niko nje kwa barabara naenda ni commission. Mimi nasafiri sana mimi pia nasafiri sana. Kusema hiyo tuzae mtoto na afu mtese tena hiyo oh. usioni. Yeah. Ya yeah, most of, most of times naona ndugu yangu yuko nchi zingine hata 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 mimi nilikuwa nasafiri wacha mimi sasa yeye ndio sasa nasafiri mimi mimi huenda makongamano unajua ni tafsiri na mtafsiri mtajika na i think i could be the best in the country yes yes by the grace of god because i was awarded ile nyenyekea mungu akutumie na nasemeni amani kwa sababu i led by example muonyesha nasemeni amani kwa sababu whatever you do yeah kama ni radio no one should think it's a lower profession than yeah. Yeah. sure so mimi nimejaribu kuonyesha ulimwengu kwamba unaweza kuwa mtafsiri na kufaulu mm. e, na mimi nilipewa tuzo Cuba kama mtafsiri bora mm. e, na nilisafiri mpaka huko yes. na nikatoa hotuba na kufuata mtandao na wazungu wakasema can i take a photo with you yeah. mimi wa kutoka vitengeni ay 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 you see yeah, yeah, yeah. so so naweza kusema Nashukuru. Mm. Uh, unakuwa whatever you do. You so kwako muziki ni side hustle. Eh uh, muziki na upenda Ama sana. Nafanya vitu vitatu, mm. muziki, tafsiri na charity. Napenda mambo ya kusaidia, saidia mm. watoto. So those are the three things we do. Mm. My personal do na run charity kilifi. Mm. Alafu muziki napiga. Lakini unavyosema ni kweli muziki E, tangu nianze sasa kufanya biashara kutafuta no. mapato na kadhalika no. e, muda wa kwenda studio unapungua e. lakini nilikuwa tumewaahidi mashabiki wetu mm. mwaka huu ama hali next year mm. vitu tutaanza kuachilia vitu kama before we hang i hang in the boots because yes. i believe pia sauti ya izeki bana wewe si hang bana lakini unaanza ku mentor young generation e. wadogo yeah. zangu wale wanaimba na nini e. E, sasa unaanza ku wazi kwamba sasa kama umekuwa Ronaldo na unangana tu funga hey, hapo 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 yeah. hapo hapo ah mm-hmm. uh, Helen mhm wewe umekolea kwa mziki mimi sasa ndio nakula mziki ndio nakula mziki yali niacha mziki even had a band tulikuwa na band lakini sasa hiyo kazi yake kwa sababu alipotoka BTL aka establish yake kafungua hiyo mm. can translate is the best ukifungua google yake ndio inakujanga kwanza okay that means is the most successful yes yes na ringa pole pole eh ringa pole pole ndodo wake anaenda kusema eh mami na ku exaggerate kwa MCs si ndio wewe kimuziki na kuna cause una unafunza Daystar ndio unafunza Daystar ni mziki yeah ni mziki alafu pia natumia mm. mziki ku market desta so it's called oh. music marketing so wakiniona wanaona my brand and they're like oh we saw you on Tasca project fame wanakuja kwa tent oh. na uza desta umeona okay. yeah, that's music marketing okay. so i do that but i also am the president of africa online vocalists african online vocalists africa online vocalists iko online ilifunguliwa wakati wa corona so hiyo inasaidia right ku sasa hiyo ni mkutrain muziki lakini unaifanya online una train kina nani watu wengi yani it's online ages naanza 3 years old oh. i have from 3 years old to 4 years old my 9 year olds are the ones that floor yani hao ndio wana, wana prevail sahi kwa mtandao hao hmm. ndio sahi wanasikika sana kama unajua ule aliimba anaitwa angel latin hmm. kwa zora hmm. Hmm. she is one of the okay. best in the country now what, what is the future of music especially kama watu tunawataja 8 years 9 years no, sasa 5 years sasa na kwa muziki na change sasa hizi si tunawafundisha songwriting wakiwa wadogo sana hmm. tunawafundisha kutunga nyimbo tunawafundisha communicate like musicians because musicians what uta realize music ya Tanzania iko tofauti na ya Kenya because we are not as good communicators and writers so right now we teach them how to think and write think and write and creatively write and be able to achieve a very good songwriter mm. and songwriting ni jifunza kwake oh. but um uta realize wa Kenya wanapenda nyimbo siku hizi hata watu wanatoka wana from kuna groups mara mbili mm. wale wanapenda real music deep music and 
Tumizi content alafu kuna wale wataki. Eh hey, bora tukeleni. Yule aichokocha, aichokocha. Hey. Oho, woo, ati. Eh. Na watu na babu. Mimi na Jaruna. Eh. Nakwambia ya. So kuna hiyo types probably we get them aware of those types of ring. So entertainment na ku dance their songs that just will trigger you to Lakini, dance sana sana dance groups na routine groups zile zimekuja eh, they want things like that. Na kuandika songs. O, o, nini nini, nini imetokea Helen? Mm-hmm. Kuna wakati ambapo wa Tanzania nyimbo zao nyingi zingelikuwa za kwaya. Ah yeah. uh, mziki kizazi kipya kwanza za injili zilikuwa nadra sana. Ulikuwa uzipati. Lakini sasa hivi wamebobea. Sasa hizi wamechipuka hey. toka sikiza Tanzania kitunga nyimbo kuna ile content tunasema you can relate with mm. sisi Kenya ndio bado kiasi ni, ni, ni uh, sorry <laughs> shida iko wapi shida iko kwamba wa Kenya wataki kufundishwa Tanzania walianza kufundishwa tangu kitambo na wengi wanafundishwa from ukijua hiyo serial choir hiyo ni to doctrines you can actually tell people's culture and how they understand the people old elderly mm. by what they live mm. in the life of the youths So ukiangalia <coughs> ya, mziki ya Tanzania ilikuwa sana sana kwaya na kwaya ilikuwa na come up na content yes. content kali sana mm. so hata kama watu wa mziki wa kibreak up ndio waenda wakaimbe peke yao bado wako na hiyo background ya kwaya sisi hapa kwaya tuliacha kitambo sana tukiuliza mtu saa hii yeah. have you ever sang in a choir tuliacha Kenya Music Festival hey. yake. na si shule nyingi once music was removed out of the syllabus hey. people don't care him he went to Nairobi school and that music was one part of the training you are taught and people don't know that music comes with five other disciplines music dance drama creativity and writing mm. those if you teach somebody music you realize that these three these four just fall in place i love to they are good communicators with us to care they are good dancers because abo kuna mtu mwanamuziki yule amezaliwa nayo kwa two left feet kuna vile tukuta kwa na appreciation ya dance kidogo kidogo utaona kama ta languages they start appreciating i currently speak 16 languages because of appreciating music and you see that makes you function wherever you go you function imagine when the china was kim chinese mba better on a johana makiona kionje na chinese are very thara manaki ukienda china wanazunguza kiswahili si ndio eh wanajifunza kabisa they are very thara mm. so if you go there you will definitely feel really nice so we teach them to be able to embrace all that so that they can be able to become versatile Musicians are the people who become versatile. Wana kikwambia vitu zile nafanya nafanya many not just one. Mm. Lakini hao wengine ambao wako zero music utarealize wana papasu ni engineer ni engineer. Kuna kitu kingine. Mwanamuziki kazi ya muziki kiisha kiisha utapata kama dance iko. Dance kiisha utapata kama ni designer. Ana design vitu tu kivyake. Make art iko ndani yake. Iko ndani yake. So we teach them how to become wholesome and also how to become great communicators. Lakini wanamziki wanalia umeongea makubwa kuhusu mziki lakini wanamziki wanahangaika. Watalia because wakati wa corona kulikuwa hakuna events. Lakini wakati kuna events kwa wakati everything has gone back to place there are the people who feel good. You can even receive money untaxed msinisikie Ruto. Mm. Yeah, when they receive money untaxed. If it is done rightfully, they will never cry. If channels imepitiwa vizuri MCSK waache kula pesa za watu when they give them well because there's a lot of money as long as money goes through a channel na ime recordiwa digitally you somebody is eating your money yeah so come hizo zote zikitengenezwa vizuri wanamuziki are supposed to be up on top that's why in the US where music somehow mm-hmm. in a, in, a, in a rightfully people are paid the way they are supposed to they're the most demanded or sought for people because you can't do without music companies mm-hmm. when they're closing the year like now right now mimi si ndangi hata holiday ya christmas ya december because that's when we we get jobs Mm. January kifika you can now go on holiday. Sio na January. Maoni ma, yako ni yapi yeah. na, na, na najua nimeuliza ile swali mara nyingi lakini ningependa kusikia kwa maana sijawahi kuuliza. Ah yeah. uh, kanisa na mziki. Mm. Uh, mara nyingi nikiwa mwanamziki na nimeokoka huduma yangu nitaitoa nita pale kanisani. Mm-hmm. Uh, unadhani kanisa ni mwajiri mzuri wa mwanamziki? Kwa sasa kuna makanisa yanajaribu. ICC um chapel um i see see a chapel uh, those are among the two that i can say nasitam i think yeah mm. that are the two that pay musicians they actually hire leading lead worship leaders they hire worship leaders they have worship pastors na wako na wale wako chini yao utapata kama instrumentalists wanalipwa salary ICC hata wanaweza chukulia they take you like an employee 
the even nakumbuka kuna kijana moja nilimpeleka kanisa moja sina si hapa Nairobi mm. akitengela akapatiwa gari mm akakubaliwa kuchukua loan na wana kanisa inalipa na ni mwanamuziki so, mwana tu okay. so because he was one of the worship uh, leaders not even a pastor worship leader so they take care of them very well kuna makanisa hizi ndogo ndogo ya Jesus clinic <laughs> kama ilikuwa kilif ya Jesus clinic hizo ndogo ndogo ndo labda hawajajua lakini zile kubwa zile zimekuwa established no mm. the essence grace bukachi is one of the pastors yes. najua tayari he's one of the employees he ali quit lecturing hapa mm. akaenda kuwa pastor but now leading worship mm. in sita so she's paid very well and so like kuna future kwa mziki. yes inayo in a future it has 67 different jobs if you are a musician mm. kama sasa unaona ni translator lakini angalia ni translator kwa sababu ya languages ni kwamba languages also come in handy oh, as a translator yeah. but right now he does music on the side if he chooses it can pay him ni vile mcsk pia si waaminifu wamevunja talanta ya watu sana mcsk but sasa hizi watu wanaenda digital wakienda mm. digital msikiza pia wanakula pesa yetu kiasi lakini mm. the thing is they still pay One of the things people need to know is if you establish good networks you should be able to earn a living from music alone. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Naweza changia kidogo. Yes. Nataka pale kwa kanisa na wana muziki. Because nimeona wakati mwingi wana muziki wanalaumu kanisa sana. Naam. Na wanalia sana na sasa hivi unakuta wale wana muziki wa kanisani ndio jioni wanaenda kupiga club. Mm. Kumekuwa na visa kama hivyo. Yes, viko vingi kwa sababu kuna watu na wajua wanafanya hivyo. Naam. Eh, sasa mimi ningesema tusi msumeno hukata kwa kuwili. Mm. Wakati wanamziki wanalaumu kanisa, pia wanamziki wajiulize what is their contribution in terms of serving God in the church. Mm. Na mimi nikiwa kijana nilimtumikia Mungu sana kimuziki. Na hatukuwa tunafanya hivyo kwa sababu tunalipwa. Mm. Lakini kwa sababu hiyo ndio nilibarikiwa sana kusabu safari yangu ya kwanza kutoka hapa nje ya Kenya ilikuwa kwenda Dar es Salaam mm. na Pastor Ndumbu Mombasa mm. na kanisa ligarimia kila kitu naona okay. so mimi ningetaka kusema hivi hao wana muziki serve then leave the rest to god it's god who commands kama unakuta story ile ya Yesu aliagiza watu wakavue samaki alafu wamtoe wa, wa, wa samaki watapata kodi walipe mm. so then it's god who commands that fish Mm. No, na so wakati mwingine tunakuta kuna vita kati ya waimbaji na wachungaji na kanisa. So waimbaji wanaona kama kanisa linatutesa. Unaona? Mm-hmm. But mimi siamini hivyo. Naamini kama kweli unamtumikia Mungu kwa moyo mmoja na kwa dhati. Mungu atakufungulia hiyo milango yote. Na mimi nishakwambia amani siku moja kwamba 2002. Mm. Tuliniambua tu mnaenda Australia na New Zealand tour. Mm. nikabeba nikachukua CD kazitoa kasema kadonet kwa shirika lile liko nafanya kazi BTL tuliziuza nyingi sana hela nikaiacha nika, nika shirika ichukue mm. lakini tuliporudi kulikuja yeye alikisema tunataka master na CD tuweze kutoa tuuze Australia wow. baada ya 2016 nilipata hundi ya pesa karibu laki ine hiyo ni singe ipata kama nisingekuwa hata nimejitolea kufanya. Yes. Na tukiwa ndani ya ndege mzee mmoja anaitwa Josiah Elkirishwa. Alinambia, "You mean you've given this money to the organization?" Kasema, "Eh, yeah, ndio tuliahidiana Nairobi." Alitamka maneno akasema, "And God is going to repay you." Na hivyo tu siku moja ni, ni sina hela nime niko computer lab nilikuwa nasoma na wakati huo na fungua hivyo mbwa pitia ofisini zile CD zako za Australia zimeleta hela. Nikaenda kuchukua lakini. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema serve. Yes. Eh usisave kuwili kuwili. Eh yani na, unapiga leo alafu jioni uko huku sana unapiga dunia kesho kanisani hata Mungu mwenyewe hizi ni njia mbili. Mm. Just choose one and focus. Na mimi naamini if you focus on something Mungu atakutolea riziki yako ya rent, chakula, mm. nini na nini hapo. Because that's what the early missionaries do did. Walitoka huko wakaja huku. They were just going by faith ukusomea historia historia ya kanisa hawakuwa eti na unaenda then Mungu sasa anafanya ma mm-hmm. so i think fellow musicians mimi ningesema just just offer yourself to serve and then cry to god mwambie mm-hmm. Mungu sina rent Mungu sijapewa kitu he might even command someone from very far okay yes right. na mimi katika muziki nimeona 
e, mtu na, unapata tu email unaambia tunataka tutumie huu wimbo kwenye movie na wimbo huu pango ulitumiwa kwenye movie ukatumiwa kwa documentary ya malaria sijui nini na unalipwa wow. so i think i think let's keep let's put faith ile faith sasa imani yes, yes. E, and then now leave god to do the rest okay. because is if vita vita na kwa sasa wanamziki wanawachukia wanachukia kanisa they think the the church is is making them so frustrated uh, all right wow uh helen yes nadhani ili swali pengine ushawahi kuulizwa okay. ni rahisi kujua mziki wa south africa mm-hmm. west africa mm-hmm. mziki wetu ni upi sound yetu ni wetu naam wa kenya naam asikwizi tunajaribu sana kutoka huko nje tukasikia yetu ni kadho isi dasi to mama washika upanga wako omokate eh ala makoja chien kibade urundu rundu sikwizi tunajaribu sana eh. maana kiwa na mziki kitambo walikuwa na mimba kizungu nyingi tu atoke na competition vizungu eh ah mimi nilienda ngambo na kuambia nilianza kuimba na hizo ndio nilikuwa nangara nazo ngambo nianza kungara na nyimbo zake ninakuwa nishika upanga wa pepo na ala ni we pepo na kuambia wazungu wana wana eh and now you need to be repetitive it's easy to get hai namaliza kuimba nyimbo za Kiafrika na simamiwa akasema this is a frizo hiyo ndio nilipeleka ngamo nikienda huko kizungu ninaimba mbili hizo zingine imba kijini kijaluo kigiriama kiwotema mm. ki south africa mm. ki nigeria mm. when i the sinaja you did think that i did come off of the place mm. eh mm. like sha well well low <laughs> and all the nigerians in in america yeah. they say hey that na language jo yeah. make you repeat up make you repeat up na kwa celeb wana simama na kwa hiyo pas sijawahi pigiwa standing ovation kama vile nilipigwa ngambo eh. unapigwa standing ovation mpaka usikia aibu ushai pigiwa makofi mpaka wazima eh bana acheni bwana niaje acheni from the begin huko pale kwa tu stage na ni place kubwa mpaka tukaenda tuka disappear na bado wanapiga tu makofi because of the kind of concert we did we did most ulikuwa na waafrika mwingi And then the thing is we don't be to kidogo tuli angalia from Soweto Gospel Choir and we saw Soweto Gospel Choir didn't sing English at all they just gave little stit bits of explanation of the songs zile wanaimba mm. this one is called Morena Re ha hu he re because body mari botam una kuambia hapo ndo tulijifunza and they appreciate it is about time people start selling us yes. identity yet we yes. to kind of the whole world <laughs> Helen consistency yako ya ku record na ku release msiki umekuwa namna gani Hapo sasa Hapo sasa I am a performing I am a performing artist I'm not a recording artist A performing artist Yes hii recording tu inakuja by the way yani ile kwamba tu ni kama side hustle side hobby but technically I do well in performance ukiniweka kwa studio ni kama umenifungia sasa maana yake studio ya pitia beats ya pitia beats lazima ufuate alafu na time lazima ni 3 minutes lazima performing artist na ngoja kwanza ni interact na watu haya basi hapa wacha tujifunze eh eh pedu umesikia hiyo eh tucheze kidogo haya drama cheza peke yako yani ai mimi ama pass ama performing artist okay kwa sababu anasema ni performing artist ata tunataka kumruhusu atuperformie pia kibao kimoja Eh na jina inakuja kwa kile raha. Ya kutunga tunga hapo. Haina shida. Hiyo ndio kutu si utamchezea gita ama atafanya utamchezea gita. Moja kwa moja ladies and gentlemen we are going live. Tuko live. Na kisha kwamba una para kushiriki. Huyu ni mtu bana ametembea mataifa. Mataifa yamemkubali. Eh mataifa yamewakubali maana kwa kwawili. Leo yuko hapo kesho yuko kule kesho yuko. Hakikisha kwamba tunaenda live pamoja nawe. Hakikisha una comment una like una share na kwa poa zaidi. Let's do this. Put your hands together for Helen and Alfred Mtawali. Let's do this. Speaking of it letters hapo. mama Helen utasimama. Utasimama tu pale ndio tuweze kukupata vizuri kwa kamera hapo. Uh, ndugu yangu Alfred uh, ni kipaza sauti kinafaa kushika hiyo. Nafaa kushika. Eh eh. Nataka tukupate vizuri pale. Unaweza simama tu nyuma nyuma ya ah si wewe za kiti Hele, Helena anaweza songa huko kidogo tu tukupate vizuri yes now eh uko sawa hapo let's do this put your hands together for Helen Tawali Tell 
Tell Tell <laughs> my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Bonana feel uh, we need more of your singing. Bonana feel we need more. I agree. <laughs> Baadaye ujapewa kwa sababu yako. Umepewa hiyo talanta kwa sababu yetu. Mm. Hey, na feel ume, ume unatunyima mengi sana. <laughs> Itatoka sasa. Hey, na feel unatunyima <laughs> mengi. Si ndio? Ni kweli. Potential yako ni kubwa. Ni kubwa sana. Na, the world needs to hear Katika ulimwengu wa kidunia uh, ungevalia viatu vya makeba. Mm, hata huwa anaitwa mama Afrika. Sunaona. <laughs> Asante. Na tunahitaji hiyo. Mm. Mahitaji kidogo weekend. Go to the studio more. Yeah. Release your music. Release your music. Let it be out there. Tunahitaji. Bora so, unisupport sponsor iko hapa. Sponsor is not a free. Mimi nake tunahitaji hiyo. Oje yeah. sometimes unataka muziki ambao ina ina inaitwaje ina ina nena na hiyo nafsi yako mm. inakutumbuisa ndio lakini inafika pale ambapo nyingi hazifiki hazikufikishi you know yeah. so tunataka zaidi. Mm. Eh, kwa niaba ya yeah, wana team kubwa yeah. we want more of that. Okay. Na, <laughs> Sawa. Wow. Sawa. Si wow. tunatoka next year tunatoka ni next year tunatoboka. Mm. Next year mwe mwe. Ni mbali. Anza hata kufikiria <laughs> size yani tuko na studio hapa kama studio ni yeah. tuko na studio hapa. Okay. Yeah. Kumbe yeah. kuna space instrumentalist na waleta wote tunafanya mambo na mtafurahia. Really? Wow. <laughs> Tunaendelea. Uh, Mume manage vipi kila mara kuwepo kwa long distance unaenda unakaa nchi nyingine muda gani unaenda unakaa nchi nyingine muda gani ina wa strain ama mmepata me, rhythm yenu uh, nadhani tume tumepata rhythm yetu mm. because kama mimi nikienda najua kama kama nimeenda anajua nimeenda Helen anajua nimeenda kama wiki moja binti yangu anajua nimeenda wiki moja mm. but of course you come home with something Okay. So unabeba unaleta. Lakini I see that kama tumeweza kuwa kama like miezi. Eh. Ah, you saying kwa serious. Lakini ni maybe a week, two weeks. Mm. All right. Eh, ama pengine ameenda a Mindo week. Mimi ndio nilikuwa months. Wakati wow. nilikuwa kuna season alikuwa anaenda huko America na nini? Ilikuwa mm. 3 months yeah, I think. Na they start two hours. So unabaki na mtoto. Yeah. Eh. Know, In fact hapo ndo alianza ku bond. Oh, Maana okay. kikitambo kuna vile mtoto wangu alikuwa anaogopa wanaume okay. including the father lakini yeah. wakati sasa nikaanza kuenda ngambo akabond na akappreciate uh, sana yeah, rafiki yake sana sana talking of neema mmemprepare yeah. vipi for the world i'm a graduate juice eh mmemprepare yeah. vipi sasa kukabiliana na ulimwengu uh, yeye mwenyewe ana okay i'm a graduate na nataka kuendelea kusoma lakini ni ni bint ambaye kwetu she's special Mm. na she's she's bold na kile nimejifunza kama mzazi ni waombe watoto wako mm. but what we do also wakati hata ametoka nje kama kwa mfano ameenda kanisani ama wapi mm. yule huwa anafanya anatu update okay yeah. Yeah, niko kwenye uba na hii ndio link mm. niko hapa because we try to tell her u ulimwengu sio rafiki sana mm. yeah, not live alone it's not kind of. na kadhalika lakini mm. ata security na nini na nini yes. there's a day uh, someone tried to drag her mm. oh no yes and there was a good samaritan mm. and and this good samaritan aliniambia tu uh, aliona jamaa anamwambia ebu 
Ebu angalia hapa sijui naona watu wana kama wanakumbaza watu. Kwa vitu zikataanza kutosha yes. kutoka moshi. So huyu dada alikuwa anapita na Uber yu, na Uba. an, eh, akambia yeah. is everything okay please get into the car. Na alikuwa ametoka kanisani binti. Oh Lord Jesus. So aliingia ndani ya gari wakanipigia simu. Oh Lord. Nikasema where are you? Nikasema niko TRM. Nikasema there are some people who are trying to drag your daughter. But I niko na yeye. Unaona? Na hiyo mama alinambia tu mimi nimepita nikaona hao watu wawili wamemzunguka hivi wanamchanganya. Na wakao walikuwa wanatembea na yeye wamempitisha tayari makutano ya kuja nyumbani wanaenda na yeye wanamzungusha huko sasa yeah. you see so so tu, tu, mimi hujaribu kumwambia the world is tough but also mtegemee Mungu na tunafurahi sana kwamba she is really serving God now wow involved fully in church mm. i think more than we do mm. because yeye yuko kwa worship team at mean tutaenda kanisani 11 ya tatoka 8 amejizamisha kanisani eh, kabisa kanisani kabisa na, na na uhuru anao kesha na nini kila kitu we, we try to say kama ni nauli iko mm. eh, sasa usipata sababu ya kwamba mimi nilitaka kwenda afleo na muka muka nini hapana naomba kama nenda eh, kwa sababu wewe uhuru huo pengine sasa hatukupata lakini mm. sasa tunamwambia wewe na kumtegemea Mungu because amani hii dunia no. you cannot be wise in your own ways. Yes. Mm. So so yeah. we pray for our daughter all the time. Na tunamwona Mungu akifanya kazi. Amen. She is also a psychologist. She's oh. a psychologist. So okay. sometimes you know the way you think that you are the parent you're supposed to parent your child what what sometimes she does that to us. Oh. <laughs> Mommy it's eight o'clock you need to wake up. You don't want to be late. What what because mommy, where are you? You must communicate. As in sisi tunafaa kumwambia hivyo. Lakini tayari uerevu mingi. Mungu ampatia God has given her wisdom plus. Wow. So she knows how to run. She knows what the expectations are. Me many times she writes to me and she says, "Okay, I'm actually, she says I'm a very poor communicator." Mm. Yeye yeah, na babake they know how to communicate. Lakini out of them mimi, oh mm. my gosh. Mimi sasa ndio sasa mimi na kuanga parented. <laughs> <laughs> so I thank God for her because she she knows how to listen. Yeah. She understands and probably doing psychology mmsaidia sana yeah. kuji kujielewa na also kutuelewa. Yeah and also we try our level best to be able to get to where she is because psychologists have a tendency ya kusoma sana yeah. kujua mengi sana and expectations mingi sana mm. so mimi huwa corona ilipokuja ilinipatia time na yeye okay. kujua how to actually and that has helped us to have a lot of peace because teenagers can be very, very you know ayo ejiake they can mm. be very rebellious but god has helped us to take her a step ahead to be able to know how to communicate to us mm. yeah um mm. Kaka nakuhurumia kiasi. Ah. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> nakuhurumia. Mm. Umebond naye sana. Ile siku atakuwa na tembea down the aisle. Ana ana anaondoka. Ah, si unajua ukiwa mzee una because I don't think I'm young anymore. Mimi si si, yes. si, si kijana tena. Eh. Alafu itafika siku atapata mwanamume atakayekuwa anampenda atataka kuolewa na kwenda. Mm. Of course kama mzazi Uta, kuna kauchugu tu hey. furaha lakini kuna kauchugu tu. <laughs> But kile 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 mimi huwa na, naomba sana ni, ni hata atakapokwenda yeah. asiende kuteseka. Yeah. Hiyo ndio muhimu ya. Hiyo yeah. kwangu ndio muhimu. Because siwezi kulea mtoto vizuri alafu yeah. umchukue yeah. wewe yeah. mwanaishi. Wewe wewe umchukue tu umfanyie vile unataka. Yaani labda umtese nini na nini mm. wakati kwao hakufanywa hivyo. Sasa hilo ndio ombi langu kubwa kwamba maisha yake yawe mazuri hata kaenda kupata bwana mume mm. na kumwona nini yani ushaanza kulia tayari imagine macho yangu yanashida so kwa hiyo ni kona hizi mimi nakuelewa ndugu yangu alikuwa na matozi mimi na matozi dondokea ndani eh so kile nasema ni ni kwamba ataondoka na i think i'll be ready for that eh, na katika maisha si tuna marafiki tuko nao karibu na ukishaenda si yes eh, lakini bora kula na kwenda asiende kusumbuka mtamsaidiaje mta kuidentify mtu mwenye pia nyinyi mko comfortable nayo how will you hapo hatuwezi au unajua mungu anaweza kuonyesha mambo mimi naona watoto wanajichagulia wenyewe mzazi anaweza kusema tu binti yangu naona yule pengine hakufai lakini pia huwezi kumlazimisha yeah. kwa sababu zamani ulikuwa unachaguliwa hata wake na wanaume lakini sasa hivi what we do ni kushauri busara naomba 
Mimi mbona namuona huyu kijana pengine tabia zake sio nzuri. Bado unampenda, eh nampenda. Basi akishakuwa huenda kukawa 1 2 3. Unaona? Na kama akiendelea basi si utakao umemuonya already. Mm. Eh, lakini nadhani siku hizi vijana wanaenda kwenye ushirika kanisani na mimi naamini mahali pazuri pa kutoa mke ama mume is in the church. Eh, kule kwenye kanisani. Mm. Eh, sasa akileta mtu wa duniani sasa tunataka shida. Na kuna ambaye yuko kanisani lakini yuko kanisani na nia fulani. Eh Akisha wale wakora pata. sasa. Eh. Wanaitwa wakora wa Yesu. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yaani ni ujamaa tu wanajifanya wako lakini mimi naamini naamini wazazi wakiombea wazazi wao Mungu huwa watoto eh, eh, watoto wao eh. Mungu huwa funika na kuongoza. The prayers of parents. Okay. Eh, Unaweza ukaacha kitu kingine lakini watoto wako unawaombea na kuwabariki na kuto kutowaambia maneno ambayo anaweza wavunja moyo mm. so you always una, unanena naye mazuri mazuri tu throughout uh, you are going to be great you will succeed nothing will you know na mm. kwa sababu sisi sisi wazazi wetu walikuwa wanaweza kutuambia walikuwa wanaweza kutuambia chochote sura eh. kama yapaka eh. macho kama yapaka eh. na sisi toka hapa eh. mtu aoni mbele mimi neema huwezi mfanyia hivyo atakwambia haya tuwafanyie hivyo tu tu tuwasukume waende mbele kwa njia nzuri na Sikumbuki kumtukana binti yangu anything. Oh my. Eh, unaona? Sasa oh, yeah. tutoke huko. Yeah. Sisi tulitukanwa sana. Yeah. Eh, sasa tukifanya hivyo then sasa tunakuwa tunatumia ule mfumo wa kikwetu kuleta huko alafu mm. tunaendeleza si vizuri. Eh, wacha wa, wa, wapate uhuru wachague wapenzi wao na nini? Mmejipanga kuwa wawili pekeenu. Mlianza mkiwa pekeenu. Of course umejipaza mtaachwa bado wawili tu. Niko <laughs> <laughs> prepared. Uh, Nasiku, kuna watu nimetika na wao yeah. ambao wameanza kusema wa sasa na natamani mtoto. Uh, una, unaona amani kutukifika umri kama wetu sasa. Mm. Unaanza kufikiria unaanza kufikiria mbele miaka kumi mbele miaka yes. 20. Mm. Na mtu mwenye busara unapanga hata retirement. Yes. Kwa sababu wakati mwingi watu hu, hu retire na baada ya mwaka wameenda kwa baba. Mm. So you unawazia una miaka hiyo ya mbele mm. itakuwa wapi? Nitakuwa nafanya nini na nitakuwa naishi vipi? Unaona? Mm. Mm. Basipo kufikiria ndio retire kama uko 40. Uh, ah. Mimi nafanya biashara yeah, yeah, ndio lakini yeah, sija retire vile si bado nasubu. Ile ile employment ndio nitoka. Lakini si bado nalala usiku tu kawaida. Unaona? Yeah. So lazima kuangalia because mkishazeeka miaka sabini stini eh eh mko wapi je tutakuwa Nairobi ama tunafaa kuwa mahali fulani kwingine kuzuri mmm maana miaka sabini na thamanini uko hapa mna Nairobi umetupa mm. mbao kiasi because Nairobi ni jiji la kutafuta eh yeah. alafu miaka kilini lakini siku hizi mambo yamebadilika bwana mtawali eh siku hizi naona watu watu warudi mashinani eh. sana si kama ah, siku hizi wana wana Okay niko kwenye kundi la shule yangu ya, ya upili sisi mm. sote miaka hiyo tuko kundi moja na tunazungumzia sana swala la uzeeni eh. kwa sababu sisi sote tuko miaka hamsini mm. hapo uh-huh. hasa kila mara tukijadili pale tuangalia fikirieni kesho mm. so na hata kama utabaki Nairobi basi baki Nairobi na mapato yale yale yani uweze uweze kuwa na unaweza kula vizuri ukalala vizuri na nini Mm. Eh, na kama utarudi nyumbani tengeneza yale mazingira unayafurahia hapa uyakute. Wewe we, we, we ungependelea ipi? Kurudi tarudi ah, kilifi? Ah, ndi, ni kwetu kule si tu hata huko ndo na nyumba. Mimi Nairobi sina nyumba huku. Ah. Eh, na kule kuna bahari huko Nairobi hakuna bahari. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 na unaona hata starehe <laughs> eh, kule <laughs> unachuma hela hapa <laughs> hata Christmas watu uchuma hela unakuta hata transport ni shida. Eh, kule. Eh. So nafikiri tutazekea tu nyumbani but hatujazungumzia sana hilo lakini ile nakaa over different in mind. Mimi. Eh. Mimi hata nikihama labda niache nyumba hapa ni kweni na kula rent yake. Oh. <laughs> Mimi niko na ukikuyu kidogo. Okay. At least ukitoka kuna kuna kitu ah, lazim. unavuna. Lazima. Lakini uko ready kwenda kilifi kustafia kule. Kilifi pote pale bora ni ishiv kumbuka mimi mjaluo eh yeah. hey, jaluo kitu kitembe kibwana ndio nataka mstare yeah. ra wa ustare 
Hai. Eh. Siwezi toka hapa hivi nimeishi vizuri alafu sasa niende huko sasa ati sasa na retire. Mm. Nipatikane kama ndio wewe nauza mboga na nyanya na kitungu. Yeah. Mungu wow. eh. <laughs> <laughs> anipeleka sule wana. So <laughs> saizi conversation ni ya tunafunganya virago. Sisi ni wazee tunajipanga kustaafu, eh. tumejipanga vipi? Tunahakikisha kwamba kesho yetu itakuwa namna gani? Ni kweli. Ni kweli kwa sababu eh, wazazi wengi wa Kiafrika hapo hawajajipanga vizuri. Naam. Eh, lakini mimi mimi najua hela yangu iko wapi sasa hii. Mm. Na hata binti yangu anajua hivyo. Mm. Nikaondoka leo anajua nimemwachia nini. Okay. Mwasi senafaa. Unaangalia kesho. Na kama alivyosema usiritaye ukateseka. Eh. Eh, usiritaye ukateseka. Mm. Retire uishi maisha yale yale ulikuwa unaishi. Mm. Kama ni TV uko nayo bado. Mm. Mm. E, kama ni kwenda kula nje unafanya hivyo yani mm-hmm. kwa sababu watu wengi wame retire wakirudi kijijini wanakuta usumbufu sasa mm-hmm. hakuna umeme mm-hmm. hakuna nini ana marafiki kule alikuwa director na hey. watu ameenda majuani hey. hey. alitoka Nairobi hey. kila mtu anakuja kwa kwa hey. hey. na mchungaji mmoja alisema wadwa watu huwa ukiona mtu ame, ame staff alafu anasalimia watu akisema I'm, I'm the former director of KPA huyo ana tatizo kwa sababu bado anatembea hey, kile cheo hakija mtoka hasa kijijini anataka tu watu wamtambue kwamba I'm the former I'm the former ay, 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 uliacha ay. ile sasa umerudi kijijini ama umerudi mjini kwenu sasa kwenu sasa wewe ni, ni mwingine umestafu sasa ile ya, kila ukisalimia mtu sema mimi by the way I'm the former nona sasa naishi zamani maisha me... na wako watu kijiji cha kwetu wale ni kitu ta... kinataka mtu atafanyiwe counseling kabla ya retire ndio 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 hautaacha tu kazi useme umestafu amani watu wengi hustafu na hawamalizi hawa miaka mingi mm. ameondoka kwa sababu hakuandaa mm. e, nilisikia mahubiri ya yule bwana alikuwa huko sita alikuwa anaitwa Philemon Moisaka alisema when you are in the city prepare for a soft landing back home no yani ukiwa hapa prepare for a soft landing lakini sasa mi na gari huko nikaenda kijijini na ipark kwenye nyumba ya udongo is that preparation drill hapana so prepare for a soft landing uwezi kuwa unaishi maisha ya kifahari hapa mm. ukistafu e, umestafu kule hakuna kitu mm. huku umetesa mjini umetesa sana huku mm. lakini ukirudi kule hakuna kitu naona sasa hapo ndio sasa baada ya mwaka mmoja wa pili unasikia mzee fulani alituacha nina nini kwa sababu hujazoea Mm. Na, na kitu kingine ambacho nimejifunza ni we, tunafaa ku frequent where mashinani kule. Eh, mashinani sisi watu tunaoka Nairobi wakati mwingine hata wanakusahau kule. Amani ukitaka we MCA kwenu na huja hawakuoni. Mimi yeah, inakuwa shida. Inakuwa shida wanasema ah sasa huyu amani sasa uko Nairobi huyu. Unazunguka basi lakini hutumjui lakini wewe ni wa huko huko lakini hawakuoni so inabidi una pia, pia kule sindio kuna watu mlisoma nao shule ya msingi na mm, mm. naenda kule unatoka naenda unatoka kwa sababu miaka pia inaenda <laughs> inaenda ina, ina, inatisha inatisha ukifikiria ujana ni moshi bwana ni moshi <laughs> kweli ni moshi na kujiandaa ni muhimu ah uh, kujiandaa ni muhimu tena sana prepares for soft landing ah uh, Wengine wetu tunaona Nairobi nkutamu sana. <laughs> Kama tunataka panga tustaafi Nairobi na maisha yako yale yale. Mungu atujalie jameni. Nikutamu sana maana bora 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 ustaafi huku kwa mm. kuzuri umekutengeneza pia. Eh. Yeah. Mtakuwa sawa. Mdu umeyoyoma. Ah uh, punchline ya kile eh, mnaweza kuambia uh, Of course mwingine wale ambao wanastaafu lakini ndoa idumu nyinyi mmekuwa pamoja kwa miaka na mikanga ndoa idumu mnawaambiaje tukimalizia malizia kabla kufanya ashika upanga nianza wewe hapo ladies eh usi we, usi kama ni watu wameoana usi usi pende kushikia watu kushika maneno wajua watu wengi huwa hawaishi kwa amani kwa sababu na mshikie mwenzako mm. hata kwa mshikie usi don't let the sun go down kabla oh. hujatatua alafu communication mm. my daughter says you like if you communicate then you don't fight if you see communication people fight okay so keep communicating and let people know little things that you think people will take for granted 
yeah okay. alafu wacha mtu aishi maisha yake don't think ukiishi na yeye sasa uta, utambadilisha mm. kama ni kuna kitu unataka abadilike omba Mungu amsaidie abadilike otherwise ukimlazimisha mtapigana thank you yes. oh my my yes. brother uh, mimi nikasema kumtegemea Mungu na no. eh, kwa sababu Mungu akishahama kwenye boma mm. ni shida sasa okay. so whatever happens Mungu hapo Okay. Eh, mnaomba, Amen. mnamweka mbele na msimuache. Eh, hakuna kitu kibaya kama kurudi nyuma. Mm. Eh, ukirudi nyuma na umeoa na alafu umerudi nyuma okay. so najua ni shida. Lakini eh, kwa yote changamoto ni na nini? Unamweka Mungu mbele. Unamweka Mungu mbele. Eh. <laughs> ni sema asante sana. Ah, uh, Dimta Waris, eh, mmetubariki mchana wa leo. Yeah. Mmetubariki sana. Lakini tumekubaliana Nyimbo zaja. Nyimbo zaja. 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 Ha, nyimbo zaja. <laughs> Tunatoka na shika upanga uh, watakuwa pia wanafanya. Hii tunaweza kucheza na company mensi ya oh. hicho kibaba cho kiko. Yeah. Itakuwa poa zaidi. Amani bwana iwe nawe kuwa na weekend bomba yes. sio na kero wala kerezo natumai kwamba umpata kubarikiwa comment like share na big ups tuja, 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 tuna big ups kwa watu aya, watu wameniandikia list hapa hivi wanataka big ups frank yeah. chukua hiyo big up franklin ombimo sisi kama ni mjaluo wa nani chukua big up mtoto wangu chukua big up neema mtawali nakupenda sana chukua hiyo big up afrisho chukua ni big ups eh of vi chukua ni big ups twende 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 amani bwana iwe nawe tunamaliza na shika upanga tu Fanya live twende Shita upanga wako shika umukate umukate shika upanga wako umukate peko shika upanga wako umukate ana upanga umukate Shika upanga wako umukate peko shika upanga wako umukate umukate shika upanga wako umukate peko umukate peko umukate peko umukate peko umukate peko Pepo, umukate pepo Shika umbanga wako Umukate, umukate Shika umbanga wako Umukate pepo Shika umbanga wako Umukate, umukate Shika umbanga wako Umukate pepo Pepo, umukate pepo Pepo, umukate pepo Jina na bwana yesu Halo ni tamu Halo ni tamu Jina la bwana yesu Halo ni tamu sana Jina la bwana yesu Halo ni tamu Halo ni tamu Jina la Bwana Yesu nalo nitamu sana nalo nitamu sana nitamu sana nalo nitamu sana nitamu sana nalo nitamu sana nitamu sana kama mashetani kwa jina la Yesu naupanga na upewa ni mulungu namutema shetani kwa jina la Yesu naupanga na upewa ni mulungu Namutema shetani kwa jina la Yesu naupanga na upewa ni mulungu Namutema shetani kwa jina la Yesu naupanga na upewa ni mulungu Bisha kabisa asari sana jamii na tumai umepata kubarikiwa kuwa na weekend pomba Upe FM it's now 4 pm